D is for design. Design is something artists do, builders do, engineers do. It's the drawing of their ideas before they get started making something. For me, I'm going to design a palm tree. And when I'm designing it, I'm going to start with a trunk. And I'm drawing a straight up and down trunk because I know that's strong and will stay balanced. I'm adding my leaves and when I do that, I'm putting one on either side so it stays balanced. I would also like to add a hangy monkey and I'm going to put that in and I'm thinking of something to put on the other side so the monkey doesn't tip over my sculpture. I'll add three coconuts around the same size and weight of the monkey so my sculpture stays up and structurally sound. Okay, so now I have my design drawn and I'm going to build it based on what I drew. So I'm looking around my house for things that I can use and I've been saving the paper towel rolls and that kind of looks like the trunk. So I have those and then I have some green paper for the leaves and I'm going to use cardboard maybe for the monkey. Okay, I'm gonna start with my leaves. I'm folding my paper and I'm going to do a pointy leaf with a V top and U bottom. I'm cutting multiple pieces of paper at a time and I'm doing letter V's snipped in the side to make it look more like a palm. I need to make sure I have an even number to keep my sculpture balanced. So I'm going to have at least four. Um, eight would be better. Then I'm going to start attaching it to my paper towel tube. I'm going to um, add a structure of a straw um, because the leaves without the straw just flap down and they don't look too 3D. So I'm pushing the straw through to make a structure like a branch that my palms can sit on. I'm going to make sure that I have one leaf on either side so my sculpture is structured and doesn't tip over. Then I'm going to add another structure across so I have four leaves and a balanced sculpture. Now that I have my structures, I'm going to attach the leaves, I'm going to fold them so that they kind of support around the branches of the straw, and I'm taping them inside of the paper towel tube. I'm going to make sure that I work side to side um, to maintain that balance as I'm building. That's important when making sculptures and buildings because you don't want what you're making to fall over or tip. We explore things like Legos and building blocks where we learn how to balance things and those are just temporary structures and that's okay if they fall over but if you're making a sculpture for an art gallery you don't want it to fall over. That is why balance is important when we are designing. Now that I have a balanced palm tree, I'm gonna work on my monkey. I'm using the inside of a cereal box as my art paper today because the cardboard is stronger and will not bend. It'll help support the weight of the monkey. So I'm drawing my monkey and I'm going to add a hook to help it hang from the tree. After I draw my monkey, I need to draw some coconuts. And remember, we're trying to make equal weight so our sculpture is balanced, so I'm drawing them quite large. Okay, I'm gonna cut out my monkey and my coconuts and get ready to attach it to my sculpture. I'm going to have the monkey hanging by its tail on the sculpture, and I'm gonna use some tape to attach the coconuts. Okay, so there's my sculpture of my palm tree. And in my design, I had a hangy monkey. So now what I need to do is attach the monkey. And that's easy. We already made a hook for his tail. So I'm just gonna hang him on the branch here. But that might start to tip my design. So what I'm gonna do is the monkey's on one side and I'm gonna balance it with some coconuts on the other. 
Okay, that's what I built, a palm tree with a monkey. But you could build anything. It doesn't have to be an art sculpture using art materials. It could be anything from around your house. Maybe you want to make a tower out of blocks, or maybe you want to go outside and find some sticks and some leaves and make a sculpture out of things you find in nature. Um, anything that you build, just remember, design it first. Make a plan and then create it. Share what you made with me on Padlet. Our Padlet website's our online gallery. I will link it after this video. Thanks for watching.